Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the Alienware M18 R2. To open this laptop monstrosity, you have to undo eight Phillips head screws. The ones in the front corners are captive and lift the panel up a bit, which makes the disassembly process much easier. Pry all the sides except the back. Lift a bit the front section of the metal plate and push it forward. Now, you can lift away the panel from the chassis. This laptop has a 97-watt-hour battery. To take it out, unplug the connector from the mainboard and undo the four Phillips head screws that keep the unit fixed to the base. The capacity is enough for around eight hours of either web browsing or video playback. Not bad for such a powerful machine. To achieve that, you have to select the Quiet preset in the Alienware Command Center app and apply the Optimus mode in the NVIDIA control panel so you can use the iGPU when the power adapter isn't plugged in. Also, you have to select the Balanced preset in the Windows Power and Battery menu. The Adaptive Sync Plus option is activated in the Intel control panel. The RAM section is covered with some foil. According to Dell, the two SODIMs are compatible with up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5, 5200 megahertz RAM in dual channel mode. However, since the CPU can support up to 192 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. Below the modules, we found two thermal pads for additional memory cooling. For storage, here you get two M.2 slots compatible with 2230 or 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. The RTX 4080 and 4090 based machines have two additional NVMe slots for 2230 drives. The standoffs for them are visible next to the lower fan. The pre-installed SSD is protected by a metal shroud that is fixed to the mainboard with two screws. The shield has a long thermal pad on the inside. The Wi-Fi card is also covered with a metal plate. The cooling features a quad fan design. The laptops with RTX 4080 and 4090 GPUs are treated with a vapor chamber system, while the other machines rely on conventional cooling. The heat pipes as well as the CPU and GPU chips are hidden on the other side of the board. The five heat sinks are visible.